Recently, Hallmark gave us a sneak peek at all of the Christmas movies that we can expect in the upcoming 2019 holiday season, and there's a lot to feel festive about. We've got several stars from the TV show Full House struggling with their wintertime careers. We've got exciting, glamorous locations such as Rome and the parts of Toronto that look like New York City. And all of this is presented by our favorite mean girl, Lacey Chabert. Christmas came early when we get these uncolorized and poorly sound designed sneak peeks at some of the newest holiday movies coming our way. Are you ready to get into the holiday spirit a little bit early? I think you are. So stay tuned for a clip breakdown of more Hallmark Christmas movies. Hello television viewers, my name is Nick. Thank you so much for joining me once again on my channel for another clip breakdown of Hallmark Christmas movies. I don't think I have to explain to you how much I love these movies. We've done several recaps of these films on my channel in the past, and that's why I was so excited when we got these little morsels of previews from Hallmark Network just recently as part of their Christmas in July special. Let's dive in and see what we learned about and what sort of exciting new films we can expect coming forward. I've got some really strong opinions, but First, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see even more clip breakdowns like this. And most importantly, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button. It looks just like that. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload two new ones every week. So click subscribe to join the Nick D crew. You don't want to miss, yeah. So it starts with our hostess. Her name is Gretchen Wieners. No, I'm sorry. Lacey Chabert, a Hallmark staple in these movies. My favorite Hallmark movie that she was in, she starred in with Mariah Carey. Anyway, let's meet her and and get the lowdown on what's up. Hello, I'm Lacey Chabert. Welcome to Hallmark Channel's 2019 Christmas, a first look preview special. Okay, so just to help the audiences visualize the entire Hallmark calendar, they seem to have bought this Ikea cabinet and put drawers in there that represent each of the seasons we can expect all year. So this is the holiday one. It's weird because they are just about to go into this grand shot of Lacey standing on a huge staircase, but they decided instead to open with her next to this cabinet. But okay, we got it at Target. Here you go. Anyway, here's a secondary intro that we get seconds later. I love the holidays. The decorations, singing carols, and of course, Christmas movies. We have so many. So we've got a really strong sense of focus so far. Thank you for those random cutaways. I appreciate that. Also, it's good to see that in 2019, Hallmark is reducing their carbon footprint by deciding not to turn on a single light when it came time to shoot this thing. Lacey is sitting there looking like she's in my coat closet. They don't want to do any lighting? Okay. So it's time to get into the first preview, and that's for a movie with a very long name that I truly could not figure out for a long time because I thought that was like a description of what what the movie was about, but it's called Christmas Wishes and Mistletoe Kisses. So that's fun. Let's find out what this movie's about with this first clip, which was clearly not finalized when it comes to color correction. Feel free to wander, okay? Because there are lots of fantastic things in here. Ooh, I'm not sure fantastic is a word I would use. My favorite part of any scene in a Hallmark movie is when they're supposed to be drinking cups of hot chocolate and those cups are clearly empty. Look at those red cups, they're empty. No one holds hot liquid like that. It just doesn't look the same. Would it be so hard, actors and actresses of Hallmark movies, to ask them to put some of that coffee from craft services in your cup? Put some of your chamomile tea that you like so much in there? It'll make the scene a lot less distracting. It'll be more believable, I promise you. You see what I mean with that coloring too, right? Why is this in the Old West sepia tone? Next, we get some background, some behind the scenes, some good insight from some of the actors and actresses from Christmas Wishes, Mistletoe Kisses, the longest movie title ever. It's been great just to kind of watch this house transform into you know the, the glory of Christmas the decor is outstanding so you could actually learn a lot just by watching some Hallmark Christmas movies this is not the first movie to do this where they talk about how beautiful the location is and the walls are bare they've got some rinky dink curtains up and some pier one import Christmas decorations on every wall oh okay I can learn something about interior design from decorating a huge mansion the way my grandmother would when she was really tired at the end whatever you say Hallmark our next film stars Jody Sweeten as the CEO of a candy cane company. I mean, talk about a delicious job. 
It's during the busy Christmas season. I'm sorry, I wanna get to Jody Sweeten and her CEO job in just a second, but first can we talk about the fact that right now Lacey Chabert is matching the same color of the wooden background behind her? Why is it so dark? I can't see you, Lacey. Step into the light. Someone at least get a flashlight from their keychain on her. The CEO part about being in charge of a candy cane company floors me, because I don't know if there's a single candy company in existence that only makes candy canes. Only candy canes? What do you do for the rest of the year? Where do you sell candy canes year round? Wouldn't you sell also those little peppermints? Wouldn't you also sell like other types of hard candies because you have the same machinery? Ugh, I have to see this movie. I can't wait. The whole scene in this sneak peek starts with a misunderstanding. Jodie Sweeten's character thinks that this guy is someone that her eager mother has set her up with, but really it's someone from work. Kate. Kate Merriweather. Uh, yes? I'm your guy. You, you seem surprised. At Look, I really don't know how much clearer I can make this, but we are not going on a date. I'm not here to ask you on a date. Well, aren't you from Akron? New York. Gary. Gabe. <laughs> Gabe Carter. Empire Corporate, Corporate Recovery. Recovery. Just in this very last shot, nobody wanted to help Jody sweeten out with her hair. Nobody wanted to flatten that on the side a little bit. They wanted her to flip around and look nuts like that. Okay, Merry Christmas to you too, everyone. Sat around on set all day and this is the close up she gets? Great. I love Jody Sweeten. I love Lacey Chabert. I love Hallmark movies. I want them all to work together and get each other the lights they need, to get each other the hair and makeup that they need. Let's make these shots count, come on. Another thing that we can expect in 2019 Hallmark Christmas movies that I'll notice just from watching these trailers is that we're gonna be awed by the power of turning on Christmas lights a lot. One, two, three! Well done. Yeah, great job turning on that switch and watching everybody go nuts over it. That was really worth our time. Glad you all came out tonight to watch me turn on these same lights that you have on your house. I forget if I mentioned already, but the name of that movie was Merry and Bright. So you have that to look forward coming up to on Hallmark. Next is A Picture Perfect Christmas with another misunderstanding in the workplace where some man gives this poor woman, who's not even there for the reason he thinks, the world's worst job interview. Hmm. What do you mean, huh? Uh, you're just not what I expected. Do you know CPR? Are you feeling okay? Safety's the number one priority of a nanny. I'm not a nanny. What title would you prefer? Uh, your neighbor's granddaughter? What? Mm, what? Yeah, you should say what. You're the stupidest man alive. I'm not even showing you the full scene, but trust me, he's so annoying. I'll put the clip to this whole preview in the description below. You can tell in this scene it's gonna be played off like, oh, what a cute misunderstanding, but it's actually super rude and annoying. That's so, so embarrassed. I, I was expecting the agency to send over another candidate to be one of Troy's temporary nannies for the next few days. <laughs> That's okay. Everyone needs a spontaneous pop quiz in their life every so often keeps the brain active. Right. <laughs> okay, but that's not what he did to you, honey. He gave you a completely condescending conversation about your career choice. Who's your major? Photography and media. Ah, uh, struggling artiste. No. <laughs> oh, you gave up already? No. Good. Perseverance is the key to success. Do you know CPR? What if I smack your face so hard that you can never smile again, you smug, smug man? Oh, <laughs> I don't like this movie so much, but I can't wait to see it in full. What is it called? Um, A Picture Perfect Christmas, get it? Because she's a photographer. Like, even though it was a misunderstanding and she's not there for the job interview, he's still gonna be really mean to whoever ends up being the nanny he hires. And that clip ends and Lacey Chabert tops it up with something that makes even less sense. Isn't that what Christmas is all about? Hiring a nanny? No, it's not. Not from what I know. In the behind the scenes portion of this, they talk about how the dialogue is really kind of similar to what you would see from like the West Wing or Gilmore Girls, you know, like super intelligent. The dialogue is so quick. It's very quick. It's very fast paced. Are you getting the impression that maybe... My grandmother is playing amateur matchmaker? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Real highbrow stuff you got going on there. Uh, okay, let's move on to an actual movie that contains Lacey Chabert, our hostess with the mostest herself. And she sets this up in, I think, a really thoughtful way. People celebrate Christmas all over the world. Every culture has their own traditions and different ways to celebrate. Yeah, and some cultures don't celebrate Christmas at all. Did that cross your mind also while you're standing in this dark balcony? Lacey stars in the movie Christmas in Rome, which I'm guessing guessing was probably shot on location in Rome because otherwise they would have done something about this noisy fountain they're next to. 
Stay safe. You throw coins with your right hand over your left shoulder into the fountain. Return to Rome. Guaranteed. I'm sorry. I can't hear you over the sound of that water. And also, this is clearly not the version of the clip that sound designed because you sound like the microphone is under your coat. I'm just warning you, they rushed these clips forward because they shoot these movies typically in the summer to air in the winter from what I understand. And, you know, they normally have many more months to finalize this footage. That's why the colors are probably not like as good as we'll see in the winter and the sound is probably not as finely polished as it's going to be. So just keep that in mind. It's no one's fault. It'll get better. We're just having to sit through it now. Christmas in July. It's slightly worse. It's impossible to not be filled with the Christmas spirit after experiencing it the Roman way. Here, hot chocolate for you guys. Grazie. Prego. <laughs> it's grazie. Grazie. Wow, hot chocolate and gingerbread houses? You don't get that in American Christmas movies, that's for sure. If you want to open us up to the other cultures, why did you choose the whitest non-American culture? What do they do different? They eat seafood on Christmas Eve? I'm half Italian, so I know it's pretty much American Christmas, but maybe that's as much as we can do this year on the Hallmark Network, and I'm fine with that. It's progress. Grazie. Okay, so the next movie, we have a Christmas scavenger hunt, which if you couldn't imagine what that's about, Christmas scavenger hunt where we break the fourth wall a little bit we actually see the clue printed on the screen and it's really hard to read it's written in real English but it's very complicated to read they come in all shapes and sizes no one compromises they bring the outdoors in talk about a win tall and green and meant to be seen what shut up I don't want to do a scavenger hunt that's gonna talk to me like that Christmas is canceled if that's what it's gonna be by the way the gentleman that we see in this movie is Nathan from when calls the heart make sure you check out my when calls the heart recaps because those are worth looking into as well but he plays an American here and they're looking for a snow globe I believe you want to keep an eye out for this woman's snow globe face it's out of control she doesn't have any more snow globes but I did find out that there is a lady that lives down the street that has a whole collection of vintage snow globes and that woman's name is mrs. Murphy oh wow let me see that snow globe face again one more time Good, good. That's face acting for the books. So the next movie up is called Right Before Christmas. That's right like writing a letter. And this story is a little too complicated for us to just get in a one-liner, so we have to go in depth a little bit. The main storyline is about this girl, Jessica. She takes these five cards that were meant for her ex and sends them out to the five most important people in her life. And you see that each card, the wave that it sends through each person's life and the impact it has. This movie stars Chad Michael Murray who was famous in the early thousands and now he does these movies too and we have a musical component here so that's fun we even get some behind the scenes info on what it took to be a cellist cello the sound has always been one of my favorite instruments and I've never played it and I was so excited to learn that when you see the fingerings and all the bowing and when you see me playing that is actually me there's no hand double or anything like that so oh really they couldn't afford a hand double on this movie where Chad Michael Murray is wearing a poly Esther Santa beard? That's surprising. Good for you for learning how to hold something. I'm just kidding. I don't want to be dismissive of the craft of acting. Love it. Next is the movie that I'm most excited for. It stars Kristen Chenoweth herself, who seems to add a lot of life to the role that she's in. This one is called A Christmas Love Story. Very generic, but as I said, shows a lot of promise. My ex-husband used to make peanut brittle every Christmas, and the entire house would fill with that intense peanut smell, so now... That's all you crave? No, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> No one wanted to throw a little more light onto her face there? Okay, it's fine. This movie takes place in New York City, which I have an affinity for because there's always like one or two movies each Christmas that Hallmark has takes place in the big city. I think because it captures some sort of like magic of the holiday to some people. Once again, these movies make it a thing when you're just turning on Christmas lights. Kristen Chenoa seems like she really enjoyed playing in this movie and based on her character description, seems like she gets to live her full glee fantasy. I play. Catherine, who is a former Broadway star, it turned into choir director. Excellent! She's changing lives of these young kids. Good, good for you, Kristen. I'm so glad you get such joy out of this role. The next movie on the list is Christmas Town. Is it just me, or do I feel like we're repeating names now? We had to have had a Christmas Town in the past already on Hallmark. Either way, this one stars Candace Cameron Bure, another Full House alumni. She moves from Boston to uh, apparently a town that loves Christmas, where the daylight doesn't match from shot to shot. Where are you moving? I got a new job. You give away another coke, Dill? 
I gave it to one of the kids from Rockland. I'm not even a little cold. Hi. <laughs> Hello. So already we meet the love interest and his adopted guardianship child nephew who seems to love charity so much that he's literally always giving the clothes off of his back to other people. Are you missing your coat again? Did you give it to Leo? Was that wrong? It was kind. Okay, but can maybe an adult do something about all the freezing children in this town with no coats? Maybe the charity drive is somehow in order. Candace really relates to this child who is in foster care by saying something weird. I was a foster kid too. Like me? Just like you. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club of people whose parents couldn't take care of them at one point. Fun. Fun thing to bond over. Also, I can literally hear the cameraman and the crew people walking on the hardwood floor around them. Just like you. Again, I believe all of that will be fixed in post-production. We're just getting a little sneak peek here. That's all it is. I'm loving it. It wouldn't be a Christmas movie if there weren't some sort of Christmas tree decorating montage and we get the full thing in this trailer. And then we get to look up at the miraculous work and what has to be one of the saddest Christmas tree star reveals we've yet to receive. I think it's because these don't have final music yet that everything feels even more underwhelming. That is one good looking star. Yeah. That's one sad looking star, I think you meant to say, but sure. Our final film features a woman who is obsessed with a fictional part of Christmas. But before we get into that, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you want even more clip breakdowns and click subscribe so you don't miss new videos from me every week. Now, let me tell you about A Merry Christmas Matt, starring another woman who makes a career out of guiding children, just like Kristen Cheno's character, but in a more volunteer kind of basis, it seems. Hey. I oversee stuff. Oh, please. Corey is the creative director. She does the summer camp shows, the spring showcase, the fall harvest festival, the winter musical, and the Christmas pageants. Aren't you in rehearsals for it this week? We should go see him. If they're doing shows that often, it's like a full Broadway schedule. What, do you work on a cruise ship? Next, we talk favorite animals. I prefer Alaska for skiing myself. I've actually never been. I always wanted to go, though. I want to see some real reindeer. Oh. You like reindeer, huh? Who doesn't? They're only the most magical creature there is. Okay, but only children think that reindeer are magical. You know that real reindeer are just like deer, right? Right? I guess we'll have to cross that bridge when we get there. When does all of this start anyway? When can I wait to see some of these Christmas movies on my television? Lacey, tell me. At Crown Media Family Networks, we celebrate Christmas all year round beginning October 25th, and we'd like to express our heartfelt gratitude to you and your families for making us the number one holiday destination. Oh, October 25th. 25th. That's a good time to start your Christmas celebration just a week before Halloween. Let's do it. We only have to wait like one more month for Christmas to start. You guys, I hope you're as excited as I am. This has been super intriguing, enlightening, illuminating. Well, not so much illuminating since nobody's lighting was quite right, but hey, we learned what we needed to learn about Christmas 2019. Which of these movies are you most excited for? Let me know in the comments below. And once again, give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see even more clip breakdowns of Hallmark movies just like this. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you click that subscribe button right over here. That way you never miss new videos from me. I upload two new ones every week. So click subscribe and join the Nick D crew. You guys are all the greatest. Thank you so much for getting into the holiday of swing of things with me today. I will see you next time.